Hi and welcome to another video, I'm your host Shafi. As we noticed in the first part of this video, Somali alphabets is missing some of the day-to-day -day used letters. So we are going to kick off with missing English alphabets and how they are accounted for in Somali. If you have noticed by now, Somali does not have the letter Z and instead they replace it with the letter S. For example, a name like Zamzam will become Samsam. We all know of the famous P that becomes B and hence Police becomes Bolis. Another letter is the letter V, which in turn becomes F, so virus will become virus. Moving on, I know you're wondering why Somali would have long vowels and short vowels and what might be the difference. A good example of a word with a long vowel and a short vowel in it is the number 9, which in Somali is called Sayal. The first A is a short vowel, hence it becomes Sag, and the last A is a long vowel and hence it becomes Gal, so the word is pronounced Sagal. On the other hand, Somali also has consonants that repeat or double up. They are called Harfahal Labalabmo. A good example is the number 3, which in Somali is called Sadah, which means you have to stress the letter D, and so you will say Sadah. Sadda. A good formula of knowing consonants that repeat themselves is Manalagaratba. All the consonants in this word have the ability to double up. These letters are M, N, L, G, R, D, and B. Last but not least, Somali alphabet has a symbol. I call it a symbol or a punctuation mark. But in Somali, it's called a Hamza. In English, it's called an apostrophe. The Hamza is used when three vowels follow each other. For example, G-O-A-A-N or L-A-A-A-N. The first word with an apostrophe will become Go'an and the last word will become La'an. All these are Somali words. And that is the end of this part. If you enjoyed, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.